YouTube, what the fuck is up? Brady here today doing a tutorial on After Effects. This tutorial is on the screen pumping slash scaling effect. I think it's good for like a beat or something, so um, I have a preview. I'll show you it right now. <laughs> guys um so yeah let's get right into it just change this back to normal all righty all right so you're gonna have your new composition which i already have made um shit what did i just do i don't really know um, Alright, so I'm going to add that to the composition. This clip is just a uh, more cancel. Sick ass thing across the map, so. Yeah. So, what you're going to do is add some Twixer right in the beginning. Uh, I'm going to put this to 100. Alright, now you're, you're going to want to go to wherever you want to add the uh, pulse. Which I'm going to add it just about right. Here, so to make it short, you could just uh, click on the clip and press E, and then yeah, and then you can add your points. Right after that, I'm gonna push this all the way down to one. Okie dokie. Now, let me just do that. All right, now I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. All right, now you're gonna want to add your song. Which I'm using Strobes by uh, Deadmau5. You want to click on the song, click LL, which brings up the waveform. You're gonna want to keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Oh shit! And going and going and going. And this is just about where I'm gonna add my effect. Alright, so I'm going to add the effect right here. So what you're going to want to do is come to your uh, clip, press S for scale, and you're going to want to put a uh, keyframe. And then you're going to want to go, hold on a second. And then you're going to want to go right to wherever you want the actual thing to end, which in my case is going to be right here. Actually, you know, I'm going to do one keyframe back. Okay. No, shit, that's too much. You know what? I'm going to put it right there. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put this to 113. I don't know. I think it's just a uh, good place to put it. And I'm going to put this all the way back down to 100. Alright, now you have that. Now what you're going to want to do is just... Uh, Scroll over that, press Control C, and go over to wherever the next base is, and push Control V. And you're gonna want to keep doing that on every base. Control V. 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 Control V, we're almost done guys. Control V. Control V. Control V. Alright. So that's pretty much what's going on. Um take this back out. The scale moving it up means like it goes up and down. And you're gonna want to do that to every single base, depending on actually what you want. But now I can uh 
room preview. Here, I'll actually get to where the shot is and I'll have the effect. Alright, and I'm gonna add my effect right there. Which is, well, actually, this isn't an effect, this is just a sound effect. Just the intervention sound. Okay. And let me just move this up just a little bit. And. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. And let's watch this baby. Oh, perfect. Oh, uh, 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 It's almost done. We can just watch it. it guys that is pretty much it and then you want to get fancy new layer and you can put some adjustment layer maybe I just want to uh, you know add some adjustments through this layer and put some magic bullet books on this baby <coughs> I'm gonna use that one again I can find it maybe maybe I can't Here it is, Puka 21. I'm going to take the optical flares down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take the contrast down just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to bring this up just to turn around. There we go. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. This usually goes to any beat you want. Um, yeah. Brady's out. Peace.